Let's just hop right into it and start off first with this 1928 D mint mark. Of course, there's going to be a no mint mark, a D mint mark, and an S mint mark. Now back to the 1928D, this coin here has been cleaned, so it's going to devalue the coin. Never clean your coins. Coin grading companies are going to know if the coin has been cleaned or not, so don't try to shine it all up and make it look pretty because that just devalues the coin. Now this is the D mint mark. It is graded at an AU58. The coin sold for around $65. Honestly, you could get them way cheaper than that on eBay, so uh, definitely not worth $65 in my opinion. Opinion. But here is a 1928D that has an extremely high grade that sold for over $10,000. And that is because it is graded at a Mint State 66 red. So the Mint State 66, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This is at a 66. That's what gives it the value. And plus it's got that red grade. So that's a lot different than a brown grade, which I've talked about in my brown pennies versus red pennies versus red brown pennies video. But we're gonna be doing a, another video soon, very, very soon here in the next couple days, talking about grading and different coin uh, terms and things like that, so stay tuned for that. Now that is a big difference, $65 to 10,000 based on the grade of the coin. Now for the 1928S, now there is going to be a large S versus a small S. So here's an example of a small S mint mark on the 1928. And then here's an example of what the large S mint mark looks like on the 1928. So what you want to look for is the large S RPM, repunched mint mark. We can see that mint mark repunched there in the image displayed. Look for that with your USB coin microscopes. I have those available, couchcollectibles.com. Link is always below every video that I upload. Feel free to go check it out. Now here is a 1928S that has an RPM. Little blurry, but this coin did sell for over $60 at an AU58 grade. Here is a large S, 1928 wheat penny, graded at an AU55, and this coin here sold for over $70. Not bad in that condition. Now if we look at a 1928S that has an extremely high grade, a Mint State 66 red grade, this coin sold for over $36,000. So what is going to make those coins valuable or that kind of valuable? Well, let's say that there's only 10 1928S pennies that exist at a Mint State 66 or 67 or 68 or higher. So that is what's going to give the coin the value, the population of how many of those coins actually exist at that grade or a higher grade. So we also have a 1928 no mint mark. Now this is graded at a red brown. So Mint State 63 red brown. The coin only sold for around $15. Now in comparison to the $36,000 coin, here's a 1928S. It is graded at an AU53. Of course, this is going to be a brown penny. And this coin only sold for around 18 bucks. So not much money there. It's going to be the extremely high grades that are going to have any real value. And of course, if you got that repunched mint mark, that will give it some value as well. Now in 1928, here's how many they produced. You see that the no mint mark, they made over 130 million, the D mint mark, 31 million, and the S mint mark, over 17 million. So the S mint mark, definitely the one more sought after for the year 1928. So come back and watch another video tonight. I'll see you guys in the comments section below don't forget to subscribe in the middle until then like i said i'll see you on the comment section below this is couch collectibles and this is where i disappear